Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this is for you. I'm gonna kiss the fool. Hello, how how goes it? A little low here. Got some rent on. Yeah, it's a Friday, freaky Friday. Thinking we have that fiery and that passion coming up. Also red. Memories um, are. Missing and murdered or stolen sisters. The lives, the child matters. So there's orange in my skirt. Two of us have orange, black, introspection. What can we do? How can we change that in ourselves? We can't change it at anybody else. But what is our own opinions, our beliefs? Where do they come from? What have we just accepted? Hmm. What is that, right? Serenity kept going, right? God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There was another one that I just saw. A sat no to, to resist to slapping the mouth or something. <laughs> That's what we can, but are we getting judgmental then too? I was just watching a thing on... Um, Netflix yesterday, I thought it was kind of interesting. Meet the Flat Earth People. And I, I like the way that they set it up because it wasn't like trying to make them all out to be idiots. It's about understanding how we can get caught up in a certain belief and, and that, that attention that it draws from it. Like, have you checked that out? Anybody hear about that? People still believe it. It's a flat earth. Millions. Millions. This isn't just a small little pocket and they're having international things and they're going out trying to repeat, scientifically prove it, that we live on a disc and it's stationary. So, oh, bless them, bless them, bless their dear hearts. But it goes to show what brings together that commonality because then a lot of people call them idiots or stupid so you know what we, then we get firmer into our beliefs sometimes so that's not helpful right it, it's it's not shaming that helps us learn it's that encouragement and that love that we learn and if we're mistaken on something to make us feel stupid doesn't help us as human beings right help encourage to see where maybe we've been mistaken or you know Take their hand and let's do this experiment together or whatever that is. Anyway, if you're interested, you want to check that out. Um, it was called Meet the Flat Earth People or something like that. So and I think it's a deeper thing, that sense of belonging and community. We come together, but then again, it's a separating from others, you know? Because, oh, the globe people are stupid. Oh, the flat earth people are stupid. And we're all looking and dividing ourselves when we're all, right? And I love that. What is, the, what is something that you have bought into that you believe to be so true, even though, you know, you're not totally educated on it, but there's convincing facts and numbers out there. So even though you're not an expert in the field or whatever, you have strong opinions on certain things, what is that? So things in the past where you found out that, oh, what you believed and held so fast to was actually you were misinformed or, you know, you took a stand on something and then you found information and went, what the, hey, right? I thought I was standing up for the truth and here I was helping support the lies. What is that for you? So much going on in this world to divide us, but we are all human beings. No matter what, and we all belong here, no matter what. It's not up to us human beings to decide which human beings belong here and don't belong here, which human beings are more special than any other human beings. Okay, that's between us and our source, us and Creator. Well, let's look at that in ourselves. And now, after we're doing this reflection, then let's look at, as we change those, are we growing corn? And what beliefs do you need to change? I think that's the corn stalk spread was coming to me. I was thinking of the morning star gifts but it's really 
my corn stalk in here. I gotta remember where my corn stalk spread as. Where's my corn stalk spread? Corn stalk spread is in the sacred path cards. Uh, da, 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 da. Corn stalk spread. The corn has been the daily staple of our people for hundreds of years. We believe that the corn pollen is sacred and that we are fed by the fertile earth whose gift is our corn. A wise medicine man once said, if a philosophy did not grow corn, it had no value. So are your beliefs and stuff growing corn? Are they fruitful? Is it fruitful for you to believe that? What is a that? Corn is a symbol of goodness, abundance, and fertility to our people. And these are the things that feed us daily. We may feed the body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit if we seek beauty in our daily lives. Beauty way. Uh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> For it is the beauty of living in balance that grows corn. The corn stalk spread is a way to receive the life manna that comes from sacred corn pollen. It is a gentle daily reminder of the beauty to be experienced if you are open to it. So daily reminder, if you want to do something like that for yourself with your own cards, let me see if I can hold it still long enough for you to be able to take a screenshot. You can read it later to give you the, the positions. Whoops, uh, where did that one come from? Uh oh, this one is pulled off at our. Mother, me, which way does that stick? Sticky this way? Sticky that way. Okay, and now we're still in the corn stalk spread. Colonel. There we go. Okay, did I hold it still enough, long enough, for the words to become clear? I hope so. So, okay, so let's uh, get on with it then. I'm going to put my keyboard down here. <whistles> Happy Friday the 13th. Did I introduce welcome? It's me, Wingish New Bay, Majanki Quay, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass, wild, a medicine woman. And Christy had a car. Chris Gar, superstar, all this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, all you beautiful divine beings right here, too. How uh, goes it with you? Ooh, it is warm. I gotta tie this up even more. Up to there. There we go. Ha ha ha! There, there. Fire, fire, wild! Wild woman. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Okay. And we have these cards. And I want to put the book up here. And that way, you know, it's a stand. It's a stand. I love this little box. I got, I, got, I got from one of my favorite freaky friends. Uh, isn't this cool? It was a cigar box. Uh, 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 it works very well. And there's another one, Archangel Guidance. She puts her stuff in an old recipe box. That's where I got that idea from. Stack my cards up there. Isn't that very cool? Archangel Guidance. Oh, she's beautiful. I believe her name's Sandy. Oh, yes. I love watching her, her readings. And she's got such a calm, nice, soothing, peaceful voice to, you know, just um, caring, compassionate. You just feel it. Just can feel it. It's just so beautiful. I connect with a lot of her readings, too. So for me, I use these as, as not to hear, oh, I'm following their guidance and whatever, right? Like I tell you as we're doing these, connect in with your own guidance to get your messages your personal messages from that's not what i say not the words feelings that come up maybe there's a radio playing or somebody says something or something happens outside that's all part of your personal messages to make your personal messages out of it not make it right we can do self-fulfilling prophecies you know in our in 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 intuition and all that doesn't always lead us to the things we want to hear doesn't always lead us to the things that we don't fear because there's some things that we fear that are actually good for us but we're afraid, like say, a public speaking or something like that. That could be good for us. It's that connection, right? But there's things we can do to overcome those fears. And then there's the fears like don't jump off the CN Tower, right? So it's up to us to decipher what that is. And when we see, once we tune into that, what is that? Tune into our source. 
above all else. Like who's got the higher perspective? Hmm. We could climb to the tallest mountain and the highest tree. We're not going to have the same perspective. That's the great one is divine, the all-knowing. Whatever you call it. <sighs> Calling in all of our energies from the east. Path of illumination and clarity. Place of fire. Place of man. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the south. The childhood, the waters, the emotions. Place of innocence. Calling back all of our energies from the West, the physical, the earth, the woman, place of introspection. <sighs> Calling back all of our energies from the North, the air, the mental, the wisdom years. <sighs> Walking a red road from South and childhood. And we coming from a place of peace. We still have that inner peace. Or maybe others put their other stuff on there. No, this world is not peaceful. We must fight, 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 fight. You know, fight for your right to party. Whatever. <laughs> but as we see, you know, it's getting back in touch. As we're moving up into those wisdom years, we see that we need to pray for that inner peace. So that we're not allowing our power. Right? We're not giving our power away by allowing others to manipulate our emotions. We stay in control and we have that responsibility to respond to any emotion that comes up, any feeling that comes up. Feel it and let it go. Mm. Are you up to the wisdom years where we purify everything that we're not. Whatever disrupts our inner peace, we are responsible for that inner peace. One human being right here. Right? Look at it. Oh man, Papillon was a great book. Who wrote that? There's a movie about it, an older one, and then they updated it. The older one's with Dustin Hoffman, I believe. And then they just kind of redid that one again. Papillon. But he was placed in solitary confinement and whatever, but the lots would be dead, killed by this, right? The, the insanity of that. And I think he was falsely accused for something, or it was a minor crime anyway. Sent into these really harsh prison systems. Sent to the solitary, but how we can go in our minds and that's what our bodies do when we're little too did we escape so let's purify all that if we escaped in our minds to rejoin with our body because it is not a bad place to be sometimes we think and then the pain in our body won't escape this body we need to purify out and see this is our vessel this is a sacred vessel that houses our spirit so our spirit can roam this earth so our spirit can actually have the sensations of feeling and feel that contrast Remember who we are, that we are not just these bodies. <sighs> east to West is the blue road of spirit. We went off on that one. That's with the grace and ease. We are hard on ourselves. Spirit is not hard on us. That's that still quiet voice inside. Doesn't yell at us. Doesn't throw those bricks. That's what I used to say. It's dropping a skid of bricks on my head till I get it, right? Giving me that kick in the ass. They don't do that. We do that to ourselves and to each other and our inner critics. Spirit's always with grace and ease because spirit knows you're not an ugly duckling. You're a swan. So, hey, nothing like I can try to show you that, but hey, it's your free will. If you keep choosing to see yourself as an ugly duckling, you know, eventually you're going to grow up. You're going to see that beautiful swan that you are. Or are you not? You're going to put on these glasses that always sees ugly duckling. What is that for you? If things are going rough in your life, we tend to blame spirit, source, whatever for that. Let's take responsibility. Okay, because we were following the wrong thing. We thought we had to work harder. We thought we had to give everything away, give the best of ourselves away in our youth to everything else. And then, you know, we get to enjoy our crickety, rickety old bodies at the end. What is that? I don't know. East and West, the blue road of spirit, connecting with that woman energy. We keep thinking of that God, God source, that, ultimate, that, that father, the all heavenly father and whatever. What about a heavenly mother, right? An earthly father and heavenly mother. <gasps> Well, I don't know. How does that go for you? We've, 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 we've labeled this woman energy as that bad energy, but that's that receiving energy. You know, and still in this society, women still doing the same job as a man don't get paid as much. So it's each of us to see that for ourselves. And how are we doing that? Are we women that then compete with other women? Or do we help build women up? Right? Are we going out for those same jobs and then we've got to be cutthroat to these women because we've got to act like men? What is that? We've had to toughen ourselves up. 
But really, that's our strength, is our vulnerability. We bring life to this world. No man does that. Not without a woman's help. And every man walking this earth was birthed through a woman. So we need to start honoring and respecting that woman medicine. We're not the poison. We're not the vixens. We're not the screaming banshees. And even them, what was their stories? Did they begin that way? Mm. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Love? <sighs> you know? <sighs> and within. Okay, well, two pops out here. They want to come up. Look at that. That's self-esteem. The counting coup. The victory. Whenever we tap into more of ourselves, that's a victory. When we see who we are. Wow. That we're part of that. Walking on this earth. That's the victory. We see we're connected to that sky. We're walking this earth. Strong as moose. Gentle as deer. The moose doesn't go out to prove who they are. The moose is just moose. Doesn't have to go out. Look at me how big I am. It'll go up and see that big rig coming down the road. And if that rig honks, he going to think that's a cow. And he going to get on. Hi there, trucky moose cow. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently, I've never been in a rig and honked my horn at a moose. But apparently, <laughs> thinks it's some sort of mating call. I don't know. I've heard a story once. I could have just been told a story. <laughs> I don't know that truth. Hey, if you're a trucker and you know a trucker, have you ever honked at a moose and has it ever tried to ride your truck? Excuse <laughs> me. Have you seen a moose real live? Oh, I remember driving up in around Kenora area or whatever, and I did get a picture of a moose, and it's like she stopped and turned around. It was it was so beautiful. Moose has been a big part of my life but that's self-esteem right connecting with your own sex moose moose has said that they only hang around with their same gender until it's time for mating season and then the mothers you know usually only have i think one or two calves or one and then by the next time the next one's coming it's got a it, it literally gets angry and bites that other one so the that 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 eldest moose calf runs off and it's on its own then you know, it might look mean and cruel, but they can only protect one. you got to teach it as much as you can. So they learn for themselves, and then they've got to go because I've got another one here I need to take care of and whatever. Look at that. Look at all these animals. You can see you want to get deeper into their medicines. You can look them up. Research. What does it say about moose? I want to keep these guys out because they jumped out. So, where shall we put them then? All right, Eric? Right here, special, 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 special messages over here. While I'm doing the corn stock, it's going to go up this way. I'll keep these over her. Okay. Because that's going to be the pollen over there. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to think about that now. That's that main thing, that self-esteem, that's the victory. When we discover who we are, right, cleansing off all that we've taken on, right, that's the truth. Truth is protection. Once we cleanse off all that we are not, right, and we know who we truly are, those without can never fool us again. Once we discover the true self within, those without can never fool us again. Right, then we stop taking things personally. You know, somebody can call you a name or whatever, but... You know, we get upset because on some level, we might believe that's true. I get upset with the ex and then I'm crazy and all that because on some level, I think that I am and I feel like I failed. So if somebody saying something to me, that's my automatic little critic. And then those critic voices come right in and that's what I hear. And then I'm human. I re react to that. Sometimes I react to that. There's times when it becomes a reaction. And depending on the time of the month, or tired, or hungry, angry, lonely, tired, halt! Stop and let's look at this. <laughs> right? Am I reacting to the situation right here? Or am I reacting because I'm, you know, that voice of my critic is going off inside. 
I do not know what is that for you, right? Okay, we're gonna line these up. And do it as quick as we can here, because we're already 20 minutes in her. Already 20 minutes. Here we go. Lining them up for the show. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, freaking Friday the 13th is a freaking Friday the 13th. Yes, are you heard of hearing now? So, what I said, freaking Friday the 13th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way? Or, or, or this way? Oh no, that looks like the back of the ear. Long but like this. Upside down? No, see, it goes on this side. Are you hard of hearing? Uh, I just love it. Rock. I just love it. I love the rocks. Oh, I am a rock. I have. Since I was a little girl, I put them in my pockets and my pants fall down. <laughs> Wonder why they were sparkly when I got home. Okay. Thank you for helping me to remain focused so I can deliver the beautiful messages here that you have for these beautiful divine beings here. Thank you so much, Creator. Sweet Jesus God, all my relations, all your relations, our source, whatever that is, be to you. Whatever. You don't have to believe in it for it to be true. Mm -hmm. It believes in you, though. Always, yeah. You don't have to love it for it to love you. It loves you. It's unconditional. It's the truth unconditional. That's where we learn to love unconditionally. <sighs> Woof. The first is the root card, which denotes the beauty that can be experienced today by connecting to the Earth Mother. This card can also speak to you about the root of the problem if you are in turmoil about some life situation. The root card can also allow you to see the resources available through connecting to Mother Earth. Mm. That one. Okay. Here is the root. She got the roots. Oh, na, 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 na. She got the roots. That's the root right there. Finding those new abilities. <sighs> four and four. Stability. We can stabilize ourselves in finding those new abilities, discovering those abilities that we have inside. Whatever's been laying dormant, what we didn't think, we didn't have a talent. There we go. That's the root of the issue. We don't think we belong here. We don't think we're essential. Or maybe we think we're too essential and we need to bring ourselves down a little bit. We don't need outside to humble us. Okay, we'll get those experiences for ourselves. Our higher selves will line us up for things like that. Maybe whatever you believe there or you know something's gonna come along and tell you hey get off of your high horse You know <laughs> something's gonna happen You're gonna get knocked off that high horse or whatever that is for you But this is the root card which knows the beauty that can be exper experienced today by connecting to earth mother connecting to yourself discovering those new abilities <sighs> Connecting to your breath mana is the life force and corn mana. What? That life force. That's the medicine. What is your medicine to share? That's your abilities, your special gifts and talents. What is that for you? It doesn't have to be something big and spectacular. Hey, maybe you just live a peaceful, loving life. You don't, you know, the butter, you're just going about your business. Right? You don't get in the gossip or whatever. What's that new ability? <gasps> Maybe I kept getting into that gossip. Now I'm not. Maybe I always breathe shallow breath, which is what we mostly do. Almost everybody keep up at the top of our chest. But those deep breaths, those healing breaths, bring it right down <sighs> into the belly. Maybe that's a new ability. Just learning to use your breath to help keep yourself calm, to tap into that inner peace. To connect with your source. It doesn't have to be great, big, oh, I'm this great artist. Now I'm making movies and recording all of this. Look at that. Have a look at that. If that's what you're expecting, that's not what it is. Okay? Simplicity. 
simplicity. We complicate things. Spirit is simple. Keep it simple, sweeties. I keep it simple, sweeties. Yes, sweeties. Keep it simple, sweeties. Keep it simple, simple, simple. But don't be a simpleton. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A weirdo. A weirdo. I am such a weirdo. <laughs> and I love it. I wouldn't have me any other way. Because I like to be this way. Where? No. It's a swinging time. I had my flow time. Flow time's done, right? Go, go, going on to upswing now. Oh. Weirdo. Tired. Okay. The second card is the stock card, which rep, which expresses the attitude needed to walk in beauty and balance. The stock card can also denote the lesson you need to learn so you may be a bridge between the path of understanding and the crooked trail. This, oh, these ones come together. This human bridge is the peacemaker, true witness or healer. You may be called upon to take one of those roles at any time. The courage, talent, or ability needed to be a human bridge is supported by the stock card. That's that war bonnet, that advancement. So as you advance, as we do that, right, as we're creating an expansion, we're creating an expansion in all, right? That's that loyalty. If we're loyal to that spirit, loyal to that source, where do our loyalties lie? Because we're going to serve what we are loyal to. We're going to serve what we fear. So, human bridge, a peacemaker, true witness, or healer. You may be called upon to take one of these roles at any time. The courage, talent, ability needed to be a human bridge is supported by the stock card. Loyalty. What are you loyal to? How to be that bridge? Mmm. A human bridge that connects. Not the middleman, whatever, the bridge. But we each need that. We each are a bridge. We don't need a bridge. We don't need another human to be a bridge for us to cross. We need to be that for ourselves. Oh. Excuse me. Overheating. I'm feeling bloated. Three. I usually only have two. Two hot to chocolates. Anyway, so okay, so that's how we, we advance by seeing what we're loyal to, right? If we're serving our source, if we're loyal to the earth, to the source, to all. To the advancement of all, the expansion of all. No more wars. Let's put on the lady bonnet. Whatever that is, that lovingness, right? I think of a bonnet, I think of a little baby. The baby bonnet, okay? It's time not for the war bonnets, but for the baby bonnet. Maybe. Let's be loyal to our children. What is that? Giving them the best life, being the best examples, leading by that example, right? The leaders of the pack don't go in, in the front. They're in the back to make sure nobody is left behind. That's how we advance. When we're loyal to that, that everybody, you know, if there's one behind, then none, none of us are doing good. We're, none of us are succeeding if one is being left behind. If people are going without, that means somebody's taking more than offer because there is no reason why anybody should be going out on this plentiful earth. If anybody's going without, it's because somebody's taking more than they need. And it's not for us to go and say, they're taking more, they're taking more, that was taking more, that was taking more. It's up for us to go and look at our own selves. And go, no, I don't need that much. Right? I don't need that much. I'm going to give some back. Right? I'm going to leave some for others. What is that for you? Hmm. And that's our stock. That's that corn stock. When you think of that, what's the stock? It holds up the whole plant, right? We got the roots in there, but we got that stock. That stock's got to be strong enough to hold those ears, that ears of corn. Right? Yep, yeah, yep, we do. Heard of stock cards. 
That's the advance. We advance by discovering what we're loyal to. If we're loyal to everybody advancing, right? Getting in touch with that life force. Seeing that we don't separate ourselves anymore. We are part of the whole. Being loyal to humanity as a whole. Not loyal to one group of humanity, but to humanity as a whole. Whoa. Started within your own family. With you as a whole. As a whole human being. Not out there looking to, for somebody to complete. Not looking for somebody to complete. What is that for you? The third card is the kernel card, which tells you what fruits of your labors. Who tells you what the fruits of your labors will provide for you. The lesson of this card should be fully digested so that the ear of the corn can give energy to the body, mind, or spirit and support your present path. Kernels of corn represent the seeds of future to native people. These kernels also provide food for the present. Through learning present lessons, the future will be assured. These are our present lessons. Again, lessons, timeless. This is not... This is not the future telling, fortune telling. This is getting down, deep dives into ourselves, into the truth of who we are. That's the original source. The kernel card tells you what fruits of your labor will provide for you. You will connect to that original source inside. As you're going to deep, deep inside, you're going to connect to that original source. You're going to see who your maker is. You can meet your maker now. Right? Or the original source of our sustenance, Mother Earth. Who's our parents? Look at And that would be a 10 and a 10. The great mystery. Well, isn't our woman, our goddesses, great mysteries? Because we don't hear about them. It's a man's world, they say, right? But is it? Because man would be nothing without the whole man. Every single man, no exception, was birthed through a woman's womb. You know, the only exception, according to the Bible, would be Adam. Hmm. Hmm. So why do we deny, deny the woman? Why do we make the woman the weaker sex? Right? The man, the man has that Sundance ceremony, so he can, he can feel what it feels like to, to honor, to give respect, because the woman leaves her blood, sweat, and tears in that delivery room on the earth. What do we do to honor that inside? What does the fruits of your labor provide for you? You'll see that you're, these are your great parents. This is where you come from. This is who you are. This is who we all are. It's who we're all connected to. No exceptions. No exceptions. So how do you connect to that? Do you do that daily? Do you connect to your mother daily? Do you connect to your source daily? The energy inside. What does that say to you? Do you honor this place we live on, this turtle island? Mmm. Mmm. What be that for you? That is so we digest that fully. Right? The last set of this card should be digested fully so that the ear of the corn can give energy to the body, mind, or spirit and support your present path. We get that energy from this, the sustenance. From this, right? The food and everything, the air, the, 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 the source that animates that spirit. Without these, we would not be here. And we are all part of this. No exceptions. Whether we're on a flat earth or a round one. We get to choose what we believe. And what do those beliefs help you? Do they bring you that sense of belonging? Do they bring you that sense of community and coming together as a whole? Or do they separate you more? Do we divide ourselves even more? Hmm, look at that. What's in you? Are you separate from Earth and the great mystery? Hmm. Do you believe in one and not the other? What is that for you? The fourth card is the corn mana, which denotes how your corn silk is catching the sacred pollen and bringing abundance to your life. If you're feeling the fear of scarcity, the corn mana card will present the lesson that you need to learn to realign with the field of plenty. If your life and personal philosophy are growing corn, 
this card shows how to continue the growing okay the ways to get it to grow and the ways to continue to grow so if you have it so note attitudes change daily and depend on the events you are experiencing to change your attitude you may wish to acknowledge the resources available that's the root and the harvest that may be coming your way through the corn card notice that the integration of these two clues to what you are creating are supported by your stock the the stock is the attitude that will bring you the abundance into physical form that's the stock thinking of advancement for all loyalty to our natural parents and to humanity as a whole do not separate yourselves or you're adding into the divide and conquer so here's our corn man Oh. Mm hmm Here we are. It's the field of plenty. <laughs> to realign with that field. We want to realign and align with that field of plenty. That's how we do it. We look at the laws. Not the man's laws. The spiritual laws. What goes up must come down. All going in the same direction, are we? Here's those spiritual laws, right? Man, okay, we're going to prove this. We're going to do that. But there is the spiritual laws, right? We got those feelings attached to the truth. But there is. Nothing is as it seems, really, right? Because our brain wants to put things together, wants things to make sense, to be logical and understand everything. But some things cannot be understood by the brain. No matter how much knowledge you get, some things just need to be felt. And you feel your way through it. Now, how have you manifested ideas and needs in your life? Hmm? Maybe you stick to those spiritual laws, you know, the, the secret. The, 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 the laws, of, the, the manifestation, right? Attracting that abundance to you. Laws of attraction and things like that. Have those been working for you? I've, I've experimented with that myself. Do that for a day. If you would like, that is up to you. Challenge yourself. Maybe you have a new ability to, uh, hey, get me a parking spot. Can you save me this good parking spot here? Thank you very much. What is that for you? So that's the law. We all must align with that field of plenty. We all, there is enough for all to go around. That is, that is the law too. We have the most bountiful earth mother here. It supports this life. Mm, this one life. This one time. We don't know till we get there. So what are you doing it? There's some that, oh, think there's more and better afterwards. So I'm just going to give up on this life because I'm going to have a better life next time. Or they do their work to try and, I was just watching the Egyptian things, right? How they thought it would be better on the other side. So they spend this lifetime preparing for the next afterlife or whatever. But we came here to experience this life. So why do we spend this life trying to escape it? Hmm. I don't know. Do you do that? Or are you here to enjoy every age, every stage, every feeling, every emotion? Because that lets you know you're alive, you're human, you're here. You're walking this earth. You're part of this great oneness divine. Those are allies and support, right? Oh, my goodness. Great. Let me knock everything over there. I don't have enough room. And my room, I don't have enough room. And my room, 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 room. Uh, Oh, good. <laughs> Couldn't see that. I love this. I got this from my 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 aunt. That's my aunt Gladys's. I just love the cheeky cow. He's a cheeky cow. <laughs> love, love, love it. Love it. I know a couple. <laughs> Reminds me of a couple people, actually. It reminds me of a couple people. Um. <laughs> Anyways, now that I knocked all that over, let's see these top and bottom cards here. Those allies and support. They're always with us. What's your? The greatest allies and support are, are our mother and original source. Right? And if we let that run through us, that life force running through us, 
from the original source, from Earth Mother, we see we are not the source of that for others. We see others are not the source of that for us, right? We are allies and support to each other, not source to each other. Okay? Even as mothers, we're not the source of life to our kids. That's a diversion, you know, that we think it all falls on us. We're responsible for that. We need to do... Do 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 do. Oh, I'm knocking everything over because everything's a jittery. Ay ay ay. There's always this constant little. You can't see it on the outside. Sometimes you can. Sometimes it gets bigger and you can see it on the outside. Mostly it's just this underlying all through my body. Whew. So it could be a diversion from things. But look at what are you doing that's diverting you from your actual purpose? If you're looking at somebody else again, right, you're not doing your job within because you're focused outside on what everybody else is doing. No human being in this world is perfect. Nobody's tapped into their internal peace 100% of the time. Even the Dalai Lama, I'm sure, gets thrown off. Even all those Buddhist monks, they're still being human as well. But that's our responsibility. How do we respond to those? Do we let them become a diversion to us? I know this pain in my body can be such a diversion. And so easy to go, oh, I don't want to push it. But then I have to listen to it too. There becomes that delicate dance and balance of being physically active and then resting it. No, but I've always been active, you know, like my last baby. 202 pounds, right? You don't just drop that off without doing something. You know, it doesn't come off when you're lazy. Just sitting around, you know, and doesn't just go, okay. Oh, you don't have baby there no more? You ain't breastfeeding? Okay, you don't need this extra weight no more. We're just going to go get per. No. Okay, so there you go. Anybody wants to say that I'm lazy? You're like, 202 pounds. Okay. And then I was still 180 for a year, two afterwards, and 160, it come off slowly. And then with my body issues, I can't eat. Now I'm feeling too, I, I feel too skinny. I, I would like some more meat on my bones. I feel comfortable between 130 and 140, right? Hmm. Give me some meat. Give me my sexy belly. Mm-hmm. 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 Right down on my finger. Okay, 43. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Starting at that root. Those new abilities. Uh, ah, get in touch with our breath to breathe. To bring ourselves to that calm, to that inner peace, whatever that is for you. Maybe you already have that breath work. Maybe there's something else that you're working on. But what we were doing is looking at all those beliefs and how they have shaped us, how they still kind of guide our decisions and stuff like that how we're still tuned out instead of tuned in oh my goodness look at these jumpers right here right that peacemaker interfacing the world this is how we manifest it oh bringing that balance inside between our masculine and feminine that ever deepening love for ourselves for our source for our natural parents right and that transformation letting die those old ways those old beliefs that did not serve us wow thank you for those messages we're going to put those back in if they want to highlight those well, they might jump out again right now we're at the root of it those new abilities thank you there we go it's accepting recognition for that maybe we don't look at us some of us spiritual people these gifts and some look are, are frowned upon when they're asking for money for their talents but you are using your energy you're using your time you are worthy to accept recognition for that there needs to be an energy exchange whatever that is maybe it's swapping those services it doesn't have to be money but look at all those ones out there taking advantage of people and getting their money and then the kind-hearted people oh oh no just just to be of service is is reward enough but, you know, the times of martyrs are done. We don't need to do that, right? We go, oh, no, right? And I give all my gifts away, but I'm sitting here all broke, right? There's, there's that Buddha lets everybody in, and then the Buddha's out there on the street, right? 
So we need to accept that recognition and look at us. The ones that would take that and spread that around. There, maybe we should start asking. We don't need to overcharge or whatever, but accept. Accept that recognition that we have done something that is worthy of payment or of something in return or to, 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 to balance that out, giving and receiving. Once we give something, we need to be open to receiving something as well. Hmm, what is that for you? Maybe it's that new ability to say, I, my time and energy is worth this, right? I need to get paid for that too. This is my job, you know, I'm keeping myself available for these things. So I need that time too. Hmm, or do we keep pouring it out? Then we feel empty because we're not accepting anything back. So are you doing that too? I keep giving, I keep giving. I feel so empty and drained. But we don't see that we're draining somebody else because we're taking it from over here and we're just giving it out over here. Nothing is staying in here. But if we fill up, right, from here, we bring, bring those energies in, right? We mix them in here and we share them out. So we're adding our flavor to it, but it's not our own energy that we're using. Maybe that's a new talent and ability too, learning how to channel through those divine energies, learning how to get out of our own way, right? And what's that stock? How's that stock holding us up, that advancement? Because we're being loyal to all, to the great one that's divine. That's the giveaway. What was that? That's the six of stones. That's the five of stones. That's the stock. If we're not giving our gifts, how can we accept recognition for it? Right? That's the giveaway. Gifts are made to be given away. So we give and then we're open to receive. If everybody's going in with their bowls full, nobody's going to be leaving with an empty bowl. Nobody should be coming in with empty bowls because everybody has something to offer. There's no exceptions. You have something to offer this world. No exceptions. And if you're not taking that time to do that deep dive inside, well, then there's a person in this world that isn't doing their giveaway, isn't offering their best, and then somebody's going to go without. Then somebody else has to give more because somebody isn't giving their fair share. What is that? What is it that you give away? Do you give away the best of you to help others advance and you're behind? Do you think that's the loyal thing to do? Or you're the leader, making sure nobody is getting left behind so you do come up, come up the end of the pack there just to make sure nobody is left behind. And are you giving these, you know, so somebody else advanced and you're being left? Did I just say that? Left behind? Left out in the cold? Because these ones have advanced. They've taken everything they can from you. You have nothing left. You've been drained because you've been loyal to these people that haven't even been loyal to their own selves. That are only loyal to the mighty dollar or whatever. That is for you. What is that? So look, if we're feeling drained and stuff, then maybe our loyalty, we need to look at what we are loyal to in our lives. Is it draining us? Or is there a balance? If we're loyal to something that brings us, you know, that accepting that recognition, we give it away, we accept the recognition, right? Giving and accepting. Receiving. Hmm. What is that for you? Look at that yourself. Where are you given your gifts to? Mmm, mmm. <sighs> Even that gift, that life of breath, that breath of life. <sighs> we're sharing that. We're talking. We're sharing our breaths. We're sharing. so who you're sharing your breath with? Well, in the wind, with everybody. <gasps> what? We're all breathing in the same air, and that one just leaped right out of there. The great mystery. That's the master storyteller, the exemplar of the arrows, those thoughts. What are we sharing with our children? What are we passing on? Maybe that's the new ability to start sharing new stories, to start actually telling the truth because we have gotten such mixed messages in schools, right? Because it's the winners that write the history books. Look at that. The master storyteller. Let's start talking about our women and how important that woman energy is. To respect our mothers. To respect our mother earth. What is that? Because we need to bring that into balance too. And if we are saying one is weaker than the other again. Then we're dividing right, right from there. 
We're dividing in our genders and the people. There's divide, 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 divide. Ah! But we hear those stories. That brings us together because I can hear my story in your story. Do you hear your stories in my stories? Now, the details might be different. But you know what? We all share the same story of the human journey. We all have one story to share. Whoa. Whoa. We say it in different languages. We tell it in different ways. But it's all the same thing. We are all part of this great oneness divine. We all came from this source. We all are supported by this earth. We belong to the earth and the sky, not the other way around. No, it is not the other way around. We belong to it. It does not belong to us. We belong to the earth. We belong to the thunder. We belong to the sound of the words. We're both falling under. <laughs> I got it all wrong. What is that? Whatever we deny or reflect, but we're so for better. We belong. We belong. We belong together. All of us human beings. Oh, I can't even remember the name of that. Oh my goodness, please excuse me. So now let's going up to that silk, the field, the plenty, the crow, the spiritual laws. Thank you. We're getting these victories, tapping into who we truly are. That source of own. Two jumps out with that right up at the top. That Thunderbirds and those Peacemakers, look, it did want to come out again. That peacemaker inside, tapping into that internal peace, not letting others pierce shield. This is the tower card because old beliefs are being shattered. Right? And the phoenix rises from those ashes. This is a revolution. The pierce shield. The shield is pierced. Thunderbird rises. We have that energy us, yes, and then we become the mediation, the peacemaker interfacing the world. That's the Herophant card. Herophant is coming up a lot because it's our faith. It's our beliefs. That's what guides us. That's that driving force. And whether we become aware of them or not, they're going to drive us, right? That's subconscious, right? Because it's not in the conscious, but we can bring that to the conscious so that we're not being driven. The subconscious isn't driving the bus anymore, which is usually the little baby that doesn't have its license, you know? So a baby shouldn't be driving the buses. <laughs> Whatever that is for you. But that's the law, right? This body, this is how we can interface the world. The body is the bridge that connects our spirit to this earth. Maybe, I don't know, what do you believe? But look at that. Be that peacemaker inside, interfacing, and we're sharing our peace, not our love. Let's go share those things that we see, that the beauty in the world. Let's not go share what's all that's wrong with the world, and then we keep... Keep going and keep going. That's the law too, what we keep focused on. That will grow, right? We can be in these groups and share our stories, but if we get caught in that same story, in the victim story, instead of, oh, I'm a survivor, I'm a thriver, I'm a liver. <laughs> what is that for you, right? What is those beliefs and stuff that needs to be pierced for you? To shatter that, to break that wide open, something, these long-held beliefs. What if it was discovered the world was flat? Like, who really knows? Are we the scientists ourselves? Unless we go out there and we can do that, why don't we just enjoy this earth and each other? Look at the beauty of it. Stop complaining. Stop saying somebody's better than another. Hmm. Hmm. Right? What's it hurt you? Somebody believes the earth is this way or that way. What's it hurt you? Somebody else's beliefs. As long as they're not pushing them on you. Or let's kill anybody that doesn't believe the same as us. Right? Let's look at that in our own lives. How have we contributed to those kinds of things in the world? Hmm? What is that? That integration. Bringing that temperance. Right? That's the will to do. What are you willing to do? do right be lazy want it all done for you but me 
right? You gotta be willing to take that action. See that rainbow, bring your own colors together, integrate all that you've learned. And we need to integrate all the colors of our humanity. Stop separating. No one is better than the other. We're all the chosen ones. We're all creator's favorites. We're all loved by that great oneness divine. I'm gonna put this over here so you can see will to do as well. Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Your art is your shield and power. So we're looking at that, accepting recognition. Here it's underneath that giveaway. The will to do. What has Creator given you the will to do? What are you willing to do? What is that all saying to you? This is the time. Integrating. Seeing we are all whole. Not one is better than another. We are all essential here. No exceptions. Whoa! <laughs> my chair just about slipped. Almost went ass over tea kettle there. <laughs> Beautiful beings. Happy Friday. Friday the 13th. A freaky Friday. Ooh. ooh, ooh. It's a Pele day. Ah, uh, you know, Pele. God is of the volcanoes. Mm-hmm. So look at that. That life force, that mana, and accepting recognition. Accept that recognition, you beautiful being. You belong here. You're an amazing being. Oh, you have a special gift to share with this world. Get out there and share it or the world's going to miss out on the gift that is you. Big as heart hugs ever. Thank you for being you. Shining your light through in everything you do because this world really needs you. Because nobody else can be you like you. Okay. And if you're not you, fully, holy, and true, what? Yes, the world misses out on the gift that is you. Empower, not overpower. Love yes. Thank you. Great, wonderful day, weekend, whenever you watch it.